بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين ولا كبت للمتكين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Respected elders, brothers, sisters, mothers and children Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh We hope and pray you are all well with the mercy of Almighty Allah We start by praising Almighty Allah, our Creator, our Sustainer, our Provider The one who changes the day into the night and the one who changes the night into the day we thank him and praise him at all times. We also send salutations and blessings to our beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Everyone listening is requested to recite durood. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim innaka hamid majid. Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim innaka hamid majid. Respected listeners, welcome back to the Jamia Masjid Deen Star Show. We had a one week break after Eid, but now we are back. Alhamdulillah. This is where our children get to perform live on air. They can call in and recite the Holy Quran, Hadith, Du'as, Nasheeds, any positive messages. And this is heard over the local receiver system live. And this is also on the Jamia Masjid YouTube channel as well. The phone number for you all to call is 07-563-579-515. I repeat, 07-563-579-515. Alhamdulillah, we've been doing this program for over 12 months and millions and millions of Durud Sharif have been recited. So many children have become more confident and we pray to Allah, he accepts all the efforts being made. And we thank Jamia Masjid Blackburn for giving everyone this opportunity. If you haven't phoned in and prayed so far, don't be shy. Call in 07-563-579-515. You can pray anything you like. And even if it's small surah, or even if you're a small child and you just started madrasa, and you want to pray your kalimas, or you want to pray your alif ba, you're more than welcome to do so. And inshallah, this will make you more confident. Inshallah. Okay, the age range for boys is 4 till 16. And for girls, it's 4 till 12. And before you call that number, you need to get permission from your parent or guardian. And if you can, when you are performing, just try and move away from the receiver system. When you do phone in, I'll be asking you how many Durud Sharifs you have recited over the past few weeks. Because we didn't have a program last week, you can give your two week totals, inshallah, so we can add that on. Alhamdulillah. As we are aware, Ramadan has passed, Eid has passed, and now, subhanallah, things are slowly, slowly getting back to normal. But we have noticed over the past year that, subhanallah, this program has made a huge difference to many, many children from different areas as well. We've not just had calls from Blackburn. We've had calls from all over the UK and Alhamdulillah, like we mentioned before, over 20, 30, 40 million Durud Sharifs have been recited by these amazing children and their families, subhanAllah. And we make a dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens the doors of Masjid Haram, Medina Sharif, and we all get to go to Medina and Mecca once again. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah, with us in the studio, is our beloved Mufti Abrarul Haqsa. Let's bring him in. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Masab, how are you today? Alhamdulillah. Good with you, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. A week off we've just had. We're back. Alhamdulillah. And we pray Allah accepts everyone's Eid and everyone's uh, doing well. Ramadan as well, mashallah. Ramadan went so fast, Masab. Um, Alhamdulillah. That's the beauty of Ramadan as well. That is only a few days. You know, the Quran tells us ayyam ma'adudat. That you know, when a person is told that you have to fast for thirty days, you know, naturally you think, well, thirty days I have to fast. You just about go through a couple of hours a day. How am I going to go through thirty days? Well, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala makes it easier. He says ayyam ma'adudat. It's only a few days. And those words of the Quran are so beautiful that these few days of thirty days. Alhamdulillah, Allah gives that spiritual power and that energy that we manage to fast for 30 days throughout the month of Ramadan. And as soon as the Ramadan finishes and then we have to fast for the six days of Shawwal, 
it becomes very tough. <laughs> so this Ramadan, Alhamdulillah, Ramadan days are very, very easy. Allah SWT makes it very easy for us. So we ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala that whatever we have done, our fasting, uh, other types of ibadat we have done, may Allah SWT accept it. That's the most important thing. Amen. As you say, Master, when Ramadan starts and we do the first tarawi, we're on the first para, we think sometimes within ourselves, it's going to take so long to finish the Quran. But by the time you're on the 30th para, you think, where did, where did all these 30 paras go? Subhanallah, subhanallah. We pray Allah accepts everyone's tarawi, all the huffaz who did amazing masab. It's not easy to perform tarawi. These young, young children who become half is standing on the musalla. Bishak, bishak. It's very, very difficult. Um, it's very tough, challenging. But alhamdulillah, they put a lot of effort during the day. And Allah makes it easy for them. Alhamdulillah, we've got our first call for today. Let's take this first call. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah, what's your name? Ma'awiz Mullah. Ma'awiz Mullah, how are you today? Alhamdulillah, I am fine. How are you? And how is Mullah Abrahad? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, we are well. Ma'awiz, how was your Eid? It was good. How? Alhamdulillah, how was yours? Alhamdulillah, it was very good. I think we ate too much, but Alhamdulillah. Did you have a lot of fun on Eid? Yes. MashaAllah. Tell us, how many Durood Sharifs have you recited in the past few weeks? 593,426 for two weeks. Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah. It's 593,426 over two weeks by Mu'awiz, Abdurrahman and family and friends. MashaAllah. Well done to you, Mu'awiz. Well done to you. May Allah reward you all. Ameen. Uh, Mu'awiz, what would you like to pray today? I'm going to pray Amen and Rasulu. Subhanallah. Whenever you're ready, start. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani wajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Amen and Rasulu bima unzila ilayhi min rabbihi wa al-mu'minun Qul amen billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rusuli La nufawiku bayna hadim min rusuli Wa qalu sami'na wa ta'na Ghufwanaka rabbana wa ilayka al-masir La yukallifu wawu nafsan illa wus'aha Laha ma kasabat wa alayha ma ktasabat Rabbana Tuakhizna in Nasina Akhpana Wabbana Wala Tafmila Laina Iswa Kama Hamata Wala Ladin Ala Ladin Amiha Wablina Wabbana Tuhamila Mata Pata Nabi Wafuana Wafilana Wahamna MashaAllah, MashaAllah, Ma'awiz. That was absolutely beautifully recited. So that Tajweed was very good and nice and slow as the Quran should be prayed. Well done to you, Ma'awiz. Is your brother going to pray today? Not today. Not today, no problem. Jazakallah khair for calling. We'll be back inshallah next week. So let us know your duru totals again next week. But well done to you all. Salaamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaykum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Absolutely amazing. Mossad, even though we had a week off, these children don't stop reciting duruds. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Very, very good. Amazing, amazing. Let's take another call. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah, what's your name? Umar Shabir Jogi. Umar Shabir Jogi, how are you today? Alhamdulillah, I'm okay. How are you, Amara Abra? Alhamdulillah, Jazakallah for asking. Umar, tell us, how many Durood Sharis have you recited in the last two weeks? We did pray, but I forgot. <laughs> no problem, don't worry, inshallah. 
the angels have written it down and you will see it on the day of judgment inshallah so don't worry Omar what would you like to pray today uh, Asura. Asura. whenever you're ready start <laughs> ما أغنى أنه ماله وما كسب تواصل نا ذات لهب ثم أطو هم على تلطب في جيديا هبل من مسج ما شاء الله ما شاء الله amazing Omar Shabir Jogi beautifully recited may Allah reward you and bless you always is anybody else gonna pray no no problem. Jazakallah khair for calling today. Salaamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. MashaAllah, that was Umar Shabbir Jogi. He was also reciting the roots, but didn't do a count, but no problem, inshaAllah. Let's take another call. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam. MashaAllah, what's your name? Safiya. Safiya Sida? Yeah. How old are you, Safiya? Seven. MashaAllah. And how are you? How was your Eid? Good, Alhamdulillah. Did you have a good time? Yeah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Safiya, how many Durood Sharifs have you recited? Ninety-nine. Ninety-nine, MashaAllah. One more and you nearly hit a hundred there, MashaAllah. Well done, Safiya. What would, what would you like to pray today? Oh, mashallah. Whenever you're ready, start. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min a'la bika bika shay'an wa ana a'lamu bihi kubasu a'ihi wa tabawaktu minal kufri wa shirki wa al-kizbi wa al-ma'ati kulliha aslamtu wa amantu MashaAllah, MashaAllah, Safiya Siddha, that was absolutely amazing. MashaAllah. Jazakallah khair for calling. Assalamu alaikum. MashaAllah, I think that was a. Brother and sister, or two children trying to pray? Two sisters, mashallah. Amazing. Let's take another call. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Is that Safiya? Huh? Is it Safiya speaking? Khadija. Oh, Khadija, mashallah. Khadija, how old are you? Huh? How old are you? Five. Five years old. And what would you like to pray? Whenever you're ready, start. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, Khadija. That was very, very good. May Allah reward you. And bless you always. Jazakallah for calling. Salaamu Alaikum. Alaikum Salaam. MashaAllah. Small, small children praying, praying. The most beautiful surah, Surah Ikhlas. SubhanAllah. May Allah give us true understanding. Let's take another call. Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah. What's your name? Muhammad Mullah. Ahmed Mullah, how are you today? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. How are you and Mullah, bro? Alhamdulillah. We are well, Jazakallah for asking. Ahmed, how was your Eid? Alhamdulillah, it was good. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Ahmed, how many Durood Sharifs have you and your family recited in the last two weeks? 21,500. 21,500. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Well done to you all. Ahmed, what would you like to pray today? Mm, Excellent. Whenever you're ready, start. 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والنازعات غرقا والناشطات نشطا والسابحات سبحا والسابحات سبقا والمدبرات أمرا يوم تاجك واجب وتبع الوادث قلوب يومئذ وعاطفة أبصارها خاشعة يقولون أئنا لمردودون في الحافية أئذا كنا عظاما نخرة قالوا تلك إذا كانت خافرة فإذا هم فإنما هي بدأة واحدة فإذا هم بالسعيرة هل أتاك حديث موسى وما دعوا ربهم الواد المقدس توا إن هم أغرف عليه عزهم إلا Masha'Allah, Masha'Allah, Ahmed Mullah, that was beautifully recited. Not an easy surah to pray. It's not very easy, but you did very well, Masha'Allah, and your tajweed is very good for a small boy. May Allah reward you, bless you always. I mean, is Yusuf going to pray today? Yeah. yeah, you can put him on, please. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yusuf, how are you today? Alhamdulillah, I'm okay. How are you, Mullah Abar? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And how was your Eid, Yusuf? Alhamdulillah, it was good. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Yusuf, what do you want to pray today? Anashid. Anashid. Whenever you're ready, start. Allah, Rahman, Rahim. Farshid Turabu Ya Bumuni. وهو غطائي حول الرمال تلفني بل من ورائي والأحد يحكي ظلمة في ابتلائي والنور قاف كتابه أنسي لقائي أنسي لقائي والأهل أين حنانهم باعوا وفائي باعوا وفائي يا وفائي والصحب أين جموعهم تركوا إخائي تركوا إخائي يا إخائي والمال أين هناؤه صار ورائي والاسم أين بريقه بين الثنائي هذه نهاية حالي فشد تراب فشد 
Allah, mashallah, Yusuf. Beautiful nasheed in Arabic as well. Subhanallah. May Allah bless you always. Jazakallah khair for calling Ahmed and Yusuf. Salamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mashallah, mashallah. These children always inspire us. Mashallah. Small children, Ahmed praying the Quran with so much beautiful tajweed and the way Quran should be prayed. And Yusuf, mashallah, every time bring something different. Let's take another call. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mashallah, what's your name? Amina. Is it Amina Jogi? Yeah. Amina, how old are you? Five years old. Mashallah. And have you been reciting any Durood Sharif? No. No, no problem. What would you like to pray today? I'm visiting the sick. So what are you going to pray? A dua. A dua, mashallah. Whenever you're ready, start. La baqsa tahuran insha'Allah. Mashallah, Amina. And when do we pray this dua? When you're sick. Oh, mashallah, mashallah. Jazakallah khair for sharing that with us. Is anybody else going to pray? No. No. Jazakallah khair for calling. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mashallah, the five year old Amina there telling us what to pray when somebody's sick. Amazing. Very, very, very good, mashallah. I don't think I was that young when I learned that dua. <coughs> I think I was much, much older. <laughs> but these children, mashallah, at a young age being taught these beautiful duas, which will benefit them throughout their life. And credit to the teachers and parents, Musa. Alhamdulillah, inshallah, they will be. They will be. And it, it gets to show as well that, alhamdulillah, there are people there who are teaching their children from young age. It's very, very important, especially nowadays, to... Uh, instill in our children the importance of our deen. Just uh, yesterday, somebody was mentioning that you know there are 
uh, students in secondary schools who struggle to read the kalima. So it's very, very important that we, you know, at home talk about our deen, talk about Islam, talk about Allah, and practically show them that you know, during the day these du'as are recited. And recite the, you know, the seven kalimas that they must have learned in their madrasa days for those students, for those children who did go to the madrasa. So once they finish and once they leave the madrasa, they need to continue practicing upon that. And the parents play a very, very, very big role in this. They have to practically you know, show them that you know, the kalimas are recited in the morning, in the evening, the du'as of you know, eating, after eating, before eating, the du'as for entering the bathroom, coming out of the bathroom, du'as of wudu, etc. So that the daily du'as that they learned, they have to continue practicing upon that. Only then that's the way they will be able to remember it and memorize and remember it as well, inshallah. So it's important that we make our homes and you know, with Islamic environment, atmosphere, that we talk about our deen. And, and if you were to, you know, think and study, Islam is the only religion that is 100% complete. It has guidance for us in every aspect of our life, for every person, male, female, young, old, and for every person, you know, a business person, a mother, a father, a sister, you know, a grandfather, grandchild, you know, um, a worker, everybody, in every field, you know, we've got guidance for us in our deen. So we have to and have to, is that time, is that era, that we show importance of our deen in front of our children. If we do not do this, then Allah forbid, Allah protect, our children will start moving away. And when we realize later, it might be too late. So it's very important that on a daily basis, we make a mention of our deen, make a mention of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our homes, make a mention of our Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his sunnats, is very, very important. Otherwise, the trials that they are facing, and all these challenges that they are facing outside, uh, Allah forbid, Allah protect, is very, very scary. It is very, very scary. And is, you know, their iman are, is at a risk. Their iman is at risk. So things begin at home. You know, we shouldn't think that I've missed out. It doesn't matter. We can always make a start and make a habit of it. And it doesn't matter how, the, how old the child is. We should always talk about our deen. You know, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, even though his daughter, the Fatima radiallahu anha, was married, but even then he used to take, make sure that, you know, in Islamic aspects, he would guide her, he would talk to her about it. You know, the Tasbih Fatima that was given, that we normally recite, was after her marriage. So even though she was old, she was old enough to take care of her own responsibilities. But even at that time, the daughter went to the father, and the father gave the advice. So the children should also you know, refer back to their parents. And the parents shouldn't think that, you know, my child is only going to take care of himself. I, should, I don't need to tell him. No, even then, we still keep on top of them until, you know, it comes in the story of Yaqub alayhi salam. Ibrahim bani wa Yaqub. So in that as well, we learn that he didn't, even though he was about to leave the world, he didn't talk about the worldly possessions and the worldly properties and etc. He took care of their deen. So he asked them that after I pass away, what are you going to do? So hold on to Islam, hold on to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala firmly. So anyway, the point is that we should make a mention of our deen, these small, small du'as our children learn in the madrasa. You know, parents' great responsibility is that they keep on top of it. You have to do it every single day. I myself is here at home. You know, the, she'll be, the daughter will be sat down to eat. They have to remind her every day that have you read your du'as, have you read your du'as, have you read your du'as before eating, after eating, during eating, still saying Alhamdulillah. It's a, something that we have to do. It's the way we breathe, that's the way we have to do it. We don't have any choice. And that's what's going to help us in the hereafter. It's going to help in the, in the, in the hereafter as well. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first of all, give me the correct understanding and the ability as well. Jazakallah Masab, as you say, we're all students throughout our life. Let's learn till our last breath. And then enjoy Jannah forever and forever, inshallah. Jazakallah khair to everyone who called. And uh, today's Durood totals are 615,000.
and 58. MashaAllah. Well done to everyone who took part. We'll be back next week at 2 o'clock. Remember, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said, Khairun nas mayyan fa'un nas. The best of mankind are those who benefit mankind. Until next week, subhanallah wa bihamdih, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Wa dashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Subhana rabbik rabbil izzati amma yasifun. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.